Okay, so moving along, today is the day, uh, another Galaxy Con day is that time of week where I get to talk to my favorite celebrities and, and voice actors via Galaxy Con, where they're bringing the conventional experience directly to the comfort of your own homes. Well, today, uh, Sunday, 24th of October, 2021, I'm going to be speaking to the stars of the Paranormal Activity movies, uh, that is um, for movies 1 to 5 of um, leave aside number six goes to mention the stars I'm going to be talking to um, Paranormal activity and galaxy con wise are as follows on these pieces of paper Sprag Graydon uh, no, You can't read flipped Katie Featherston Most famous for playing the fictional Katie and Mika Sloat most famous for playing the fictional Mika in movies one two and the last bit at the end of the mocked ones. That's number five but as it's a paranormal activity season um, and there's a week left um, until Halloween arrives in the UK, um, and sadly I have no green screen. All I have is the one of the entrances to my um, secret uh, layer, um, which I call the acting space. So I'm going to have to decorate um, this place a little bit. I'm going to have to improvise. So yeah, let's decorate this place a little bit, make it a little paranormal activity fan friendly. So, yep, here goes nothing. Okay, so it looks like I'm all set up for tonight with the cast of paranormal activity. And I've also prepped up uh, my little show and tell that I'm gonna show a cast member or two. It's a little something I did with slamming the door to make it look like there was a ghost in my bedroom. I'll explain how I did all of that in front of the cast of Paranormal Activity. Um, yeah, I did that a couple months ago. And so without further ado, let's get this over with. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you all should subscribe and follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description of this video. Yeah, with that said, sit back, relax, and enjoy my Galaxy Con virtual chats with the cast of Paranormal Activity. Hey. Good evening, Mika. How are you doing? Hey, Seb, we're going okay. to take a picture, okay? Okay, Ready? let's do it. Three, two, one, perfect. How's it going? Uh, uh, everything's going great. I just went over the whole of franchise in, in time for this panel. Wow. And it's so creepy. And <laughs> uh, I like the green screen in the background, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I got a few questions for you. And then sure. I'm going to show you a little experiment that I did about two months ago. Great. So say, okay, question number one. Um, and you're famous for playing the fictional you in three of the paranormal activity films. Um, during the series, uh, how does your character change and progress to handle the demands of the developing plots? Well, I think my character's role in the, in the, in the film is to increase the conflict. So as, uh, as each night goes on, my character needs to heighten the level of frustration and engagement with the demon in order to create like an ultimate clash between uh, him and the, the, this malevolent force. And so that's where, that's where my job was, it's to just make more and more hardcore and, 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 mm. and problematic. Yeah, what, what's that? What's happening in the background by now? Oh, well, that's my that dog. Squeaky toy? My dog is squeaking on, is chewing on a squeaky toy. Sorry about oh, that. Oh, uh, well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't blame your dog for interrupting our session, but that's okay. <laughs> Anyways, next question. Um, each film makes uh, use of production cameras set up and used like security cameras or other recording devices to present the franchise as found footage, like in the Blair Witch Project. Um, like, how difficult was it working with a range of cameras that were being used to create the special effects? It was actually quite easy. I had a lot of experience prior to this with my um, with my TV station in college. I've created a lot of like uh, under sort of like um, uh, TV shows, but there were very um, you know handheld camera and, and improv. So I had already had a lot of experience. In fact, the director of Paranormal Activity told me he's like, "You got to make it look 
more shaky because you're doing too good a job. <laughs> yeah, a video cam was all quite shaky. Yeah. Trust me, I know. <laughs> and here's the final question before I show you my experimental video. Sure. Um, if if you had an actual video camera as used in the paranormal franchise, what type of content would you like to document besides a, a ghost haunting a fictionalized KD and Mika? Well, you know what would have been would have been amazing, and I had this idea and I didn't do it unfortunately. But what I wanted to do was, as the movie was being released, I wanted to get a behind the scenes view. So it would be, it would have been like me with the video camera showing all of the stuff because when paranormal activities first happened it was incredible there were like thousands of people outside of the theater but we couldn't show ourselves or who we are so i would be like hidden and behind a, a mailbox or something wow. and um yeah so uh that's what i would have done but we didn't get around to it but oh well mm, that that would have happened but yeah. and anyways um before we finish the session as promised sure. i'm going to show you my experiment on paranormal activity and it cool. happened two months ago so prepare to be amazed <laughs> um, yeah uh, allow me allow me to explain what happened um yeah. so i'm basically um holding my iphone on a tripod and i'm lying down on the floor trying not to be seen and then I wait about 10 seconds silence for the right moment. And then afterwards, I push the door with my hand very hard. And then the door slams very loudly. So that's uh -huh. how I made my experimental video inspired well, by the franchise. Yeah, that looks really real, man. I mean, I'm yeah. really impressed. Great job. Thank yeah. you. Anyway, so it looks like we're running out of time. I just want to say thank you for your really well thought out questions. I'm sorry for my dog and awesome. It's all right. Man, I love You're it. You're most welcome. Bye, Mika. Bye. Oh, Katie. It's just, oh my God. It's jacked out of bed. Oh, uh, she's being jacked down the stairs. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. I can't believe they only used one camera for the first movie. The others, um, a few other cameras, or security cameras and other video cameras for only six movies, uh, six sequels. And, and the first movie, it only had one camera. Only in Katie and Miko's bedroom. Hey, Sprague. Hi, Seb. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm great. Well, I think we're going to take a picture first, and then we'll get to our chat, okay? All righty, then. Let's do it. All right, ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Perfect. Enjoy the chat. First off, I got to say, um, the, the entire Poundable Activity franchise, it's so creepy, and it's very well edited due to the use of camera equipment, like security cameras and other types of video cameras and technology it's it's just amazing and even though you start in two movies uh, uh, anyways i've got some questions uh, relating oh, to yes. paranormal activity and your character christy so let's begin so you're most famous for playing katie's fictional sister christy um so in your own words uh, how would you describe the relationship between katie and christy in paranormal activity movies two and three sure i think um christy really looks up to her big sister and i think she wanted to have a really good relationship with her and i think you know in the first one i'm sure that they lost touch i think we touched on that in the second one because katie and i came up with an, a really big background for our relationship and that's why um she comes and hangs out in two and things like that um i just think they're buds you know? Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Um, this is the same thing with me and my brothers. Oh, that's great. Anyways, moving on. Here's the next question. And uh, the roles are very physical at times. And there was this one scene that I found very scary in Paranormal 2, um, which was um, you, um, Christy, um, being dragged down the stairs. And it oh, was yeah. so, so creepy. And how exactly was that scene done? Well, it didn't involve me. It did in the very beginning, but the majority of it was my stunt woman, Helena. Really? Um, and 
He was, yeah. And uh, anything that happened on the stairs, actually, you had other stunt people in, I believe they were wearing all black so that they could be painted out of the picture later. And like, they pulled her down and she oh. was grabbing as she went. And in fact, there was supposed to be a whole nother scene that we actually did shoot, we didn't use, where Helena was on the stunt guy's back and her legs oh. and arms were up. And she was like, her back was to his back and he was crawling around. So it looked like she'd been picked up by a ghost and was being carried upside oh, down. Crazy. Wow. So they didn't I, wish it, I wish I was there to see all of that. Yeah, <laughs> I, it was really great to watch. I'm, I'm pretty sure those were men in, um, in wolf suits, like all covered in black or sometimes a green wolf suit. Yeah. And that's, that's probably my theory. <laughs> I'm glad You're you told right. the story to me. Oh, you're welcome. Anyways, here's the next question. Um, how how do you think these franchise movies that is paranormal activity have affected the horror genre? I think that um these found footage films when they started coming out, I think they really revitalized the horror genre in a lot of ways. I think they reminded fans about the magic of making movies that you know, slasher films are great. They're super fun. They're campy. They're very Americana. But just that psychological terror is what's mm. really scary, at least for me. And I think these films really revitalize that. Well, I couldn't agree more. And here's question number four. Um, in each paranormal activity movie, uh, the jump scares gave the audiences a shocking reaction. I, I've seen the videos on YouTube. Yeah. Um, did, did you get a different reactions from each audience group every time they watched one of the paranormal films? Well, I'll tell you what, I saw two and three in the theater. The number two, I don't remember exactly how, I think people got scared around the same times I got scared. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I remember, I have a great story from watching three in the theater, but it's not necessarily to your question. Do you want to hear it? Uh, I don't mind if I hear it. So okay, uh, be my well, guest. Um, when I was sitting in the theater to watch three, and it wasn't a premiere or anything, I had just gone with my family to see it in the theater. The gentleman next to me looked at me and he goes, "Hey, hey, do you know? Like, did that girl from the second one? Did she die?" And I was like, <laughs> "Yes, yeah, dude, she died. She completely oh. died. Dead. It's terrible. <laughs> I think it's real." And then, oh my and god. Then, he started and he looked at me and I was like, yeah, dude, no, it's a movie. <laughs> oh <my> gosh. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a great story there. <laughs> About number three. <laughs> and anyways, um, the next one, what is it about jump scares that, that you think gets people back for more? Oh, it's just the unknown, I think. You know, I think that's one of the really scariest things. You know, if somebody's coming at you with a knife or then scream or one of those movies that you know they're going to try to kill you, but a jump scare, you don't know what's going to happen to you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, like, I've seen so many horror movies with jump scares. Like, recently, Halloween Kills. And that's mm -hmm. such a, a such a shocker. And it scared the living daylights out of me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm... And I'm looking forward to seeing where Michael Myers uh, goes next with Halloween Ends by 2022. Yeah. So that's just an example of, of one of the movies with the jump scares that made me jump and made me go, holy crap. Uh, yeah. Sorry for cursing. Absolutely. It's okay. Do you Anyways, have any questions? Uh, well, I did have one question. Okay. But I'm gonna is it okay if we add extra time? It's all right. I added some time. Uh, okay. Um, the final You're question. Lovely. Uh -huh. Thank you. Um, if you if you had an actual video camera as used in all the paranormal movies, what type of content would you like to document besides ghosts haunting a fictional family? Um, it's really interesting. I actually think I'd want to document. Oh, this is not going to be exciting because I'm not. It's not a horror movie. Um, and also because I'm not a director. But right now, what I'd really like to document is how the business is changing and how things are in the background and all the new characters that are coming into play and all the new stories. I'd love to focus on writer rooms. I know that sounds yeah. so I'm sorry. That should be really interesting. <laughs> I think so. I love television. Yeah. Well, anyways, congrats on the paranormal activity movies, the two and three. 
And I'm looking forward to seeing where the franchise goes next with Next of Kin and the upcoming documentary. So, and thank you, Swag. And oh, stay so safe, welcome. stay healthy, and have a happy Halloween. You too, Seb. It's been lovely. Take care. Bye. Good evening, Katie. Hi, Seb. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing very well. Do you want to take a picture with me real quick? Um, yes, but I have something I want to share with you for the screenshot. Uh, first off, okay. I want to say a uh, happy belated birthday to you, Katie. Thank you so and, much. And I made this for you a couple months ago before the panel started. Wow. That, that's gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. That's really well done. Thank you so much. That's really well done. I think I'm oh, ready for the that. snapshot. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Okay, let's do All it. All right. I'll take that snapshot in three, two, one. Perfect. Enjoy the chat. Yay. That's so cool, Seb. Thank you. You're welcome. So I, I basically traced in the paranormal symbol of the triangle and the circle and then added mm -hmm. a little bit of color to it, uh, different types of red and two, two drops of blood on the bottom left and right corners of the symbol. I love it. Yeah. That's a really great. And I like the, the black and the outline. A little, it's really well done. Thank you. Did you laminate that? Is that is that on a sleeve or something? It's like really taking very good care of it. I love it. I think so. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a laminated sheet. Yeah. Great. Again, yeah. this is this is my um, belated birthday present to you. Thank you, showing... Seb. I really, yeah. I really appreciate that. That's yeah. so kind of you. Anyways, um, I have a few questions for you, and then afterwards, it. I'm I'm going to show you a little experiment I did with the paranormal activity franchise. Okay. So, so let's begin. So you're most famous for playing the fictional you in five of the paranormal movies. And yes. What was the experience like being a part of this whole franchise? Uh, joyful. It was incredibly joyful. I met amazing people. I had the most fun I think I'll probably ever have making a movie, especially on that first one. And it was life changing. And I get to meet great people like you. So I'm very thankful. <sighs> Thank you. Anyways, here's here's the second question. Okay. Um, how, how do you how do you think the paranormal activity films have affected the horror genre? Well, at the time when they came out, there was a lot of like torture porn and like very like graphic in your face kind of disturbing stuff, right? Yeah. Which is great. But I think our movie kind of was a departure from that and gave audiences a chance to be scared in a way that was a little more intimate and a little more imagination based. Um and also it was found footage so it kind of reignited that and i i think it just kind of reminded people that you can be scared in a lot of different ways and that there's room for all of it so that was a really cool thing to be a part of yeah yeah i, yeah, I couldn't agree more mm -hmm. and, and here's the next question and yeah. in each paranormal activity movie the jump scares uh, gave the audiences a shocking reaction and i could tell by the videos on youtube and did you get different reactions from each audience group every time they watched one of the films? Did I did like did I witness different reactions in different in different times? I've only um, yeah. seen it with an audience a couple of times, so it, it's always really fun for me to see what parts scare them. And you know, the ending always gets them. Um, I think it's really fun to to be in an audience when they're really into a movie, especially a, a scary movie. But I actually haven't seen it with an audience that many times, maybe two or three times that's it. Oh, I, I thought yeah. it was more than that ever since yeah, the I franchise mean, started. I mean, I've, I've seen the first one a few times with audience, like maybe three times with an audience. And then like the sequels I've never seen with an audience before. Oh man. I know, isn't that wild? I know. <laughs> yeah. And, and here's the next one and it's to do with the seventh installment in the franchise. Mm -hmm. And um, a new documentary coming to Paramount Plus this coming Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what can fans expect to see from both movies when they arrive in time for Halloween? Well, obviously, I know you're not in the seventh film, but That's what right. do you yeah. think fans can expect to see from those two films? Um, well, so for the, the seventh movie, I don't know what to expect. It looks good to me. Like, I'm excited to see it. So I'm going to be a fan just like everybody else and be experiencing it for the first time. Um, it looks like they it looks like they've kind of molded some some found footage along with maybe a, a pretend documentary style, which has like better quality of, of, of visuals. So that'll be exciting to see how they marry those two things. Um, and as for the documentary, I'm so excited for people to see it. I haven't seen it yet either. 
Um, but my friend, the director became a good friend of mine and he's been working on it for a long time. And, and it's going to be real special for me to have like a video representation of this big chapter of my life. And so, um, I'm excited for, for fans to watch it and I hope everybody really likes it, you know, me too. Yeah. Anyways, uh, as promised, uh, without further ado, I'm very happy to show you my experiment that I did with the paranormal activity franchise. Um, let me show you the video. And then okay. I'll explain how I did it. Okay. This was done two months ago. Okay. Oh, I see the painting on it. Whoa. Now, let me let me show you um, how I did it. So okay. I'm basically I'm basically lying down on the bedroom floor, um, and mm -hmm. the the iPhone is on a tripod, and and then mm -hmm. I I lie there for about um, ten seconds of silence and. Once I hit that right moment to slam the door, I, I push, I push the side of the door with my hand and then, mm -hmm. and then the door slams really hard. That way, um, I, I could create my own version of a ghost, um, haunting my yeah. bedroom and closing the door right behind, right behind yep. him or it. Yep. That is not too dissimilar from how we did the, the effects on the first paranormal movie. That was very, it was very like do it ourselves at home. Kind of stuff so you're totally on the right track with that set is really cool it was really yes. cool i just wanted to do that because i'm a fan of the franchise and yeah. a, a good scary cat meaning a fan yeah. of horror movies yeah yeah i love we love we love our fans and i am so um grateful for your for your artwork and your great questions and your really thoughtful conversation. Also, great glasses. I don't have my glasses on right now, but I also oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I also uh, wear glasses. So I just got some. I just started wearing glasses, so now I'm in the club. <laughs> that, that's know. good to know. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. thank you, Katie, for letting me talk to you. Oh, and course, again, yeah. happy belated birthday! And stay thank safe so and healthy, much. and have a happy Halloween. You too, Seb. Bye bye. So nice mm. to talk to you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Paranormal Activity, Next of Kin, rated R, streaming October 29th exclusively on Paramount Plus.